Hi, welcome to this guitar tutorial all about alternating thumb. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play guitar like this. back in the summer of 1976 when I first picked up a guitar and I was always just strumming away and and, um, and it was okay but then I discovered a uh, fingerstyle guitar and that really really interested me and it, it, it held a fascination because I couldn't do it. Um, I'd hang around at folk clubs and play when I had no right to and, and play and, and ask people and pester people for to show me and I'd sit on the front row of people who they'd have been as a guest and, and try and work out what they were doing and it was just a really frustrating experience for me. I tried to emulate it without, without much success. And the people I was trying to emulate at that time was Paul Simon, John Denver, Gordon Lightfoot, Cat Stevens, and eventually Ralph McTell. It was McTell's music that really, really made me search and try and improve um, my guitar playing as far as the guitar style, the ragtime kind of style was, was, was um, concerned. I did eventually meet up with somebody and he did sit me down for an afternoon and show me how, how to do this. So what I'm going to show you today is how I learned how to play this style. And it's it was a method that took me probably two or three weeks to master, to really get it down. And the main emphasis was taking it really slowly, breaking it down into parts and, and going through it methodically and building it up slowly, not trying to rush. If, if you try to rush, then you'll just become disoriented and frustrated and it won't sound right because it is it is quite hard to do uh, until you start to do it and then you realize oh it's actually quite easy but initially it is very very complicated the thumb as as in the title is alternates between two bass notes and the thumb is the rock solid foundation upon which all melodies are built in this particular style um, i'm alluding to ragtime style and, and blues sort of style and that kind of like folky rock sort of style. So what I'm going to show you today is how I learnt and I'll pass on the tips and tricks that this guy passed on to me and hopefully we will um, we'll get you playing. Okay so let's dive straight in and get you started. We're going to finger a G chord up the top and we're going to show you the first part of this pattern. I'm going to break it down into three parts. We're going to begin with the G chord. So what I want you to do is with your thumb, we're going to strike the top note, which is the G on the lower E string. Then we're going to strike the open G string with your index finger. Then we're going to strike the D string with your thumb. Okay, so it should be this. So thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, top string, index on your open G, open D, back to your index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb on the top string, 
index finger on the open G, thumb on the open D, index back to the open G. Once more, nice and slowly. That's the speed you should be going at. Maybe a little bit slower, get it right down so you haven't got to think about it. Take your time and don't rush. These are the foundations you need to build upon. It's no point trying to rush, just get it down. It will come in time, I promise you, if you just keep practicing. But start off slow and build it up. But don't try to run before you can walk. Once again, on the G, open G, open D, open G string. Thumb, index, thumb, index. Thumb, index, thumb, index. So keep practicing and get up to a little bit of speed. Note what the thumb is doing, alternating between the top strings, the top bass strings, the E and the D. E, D, E, D. is constantly doing this and the other notes are in between they're rest notes in effect okay that's the first part now the second part we're going to add our middle finger on the B string and that pattern goes like this so your thumb as before strikes the top G index finger strikes the open G string your thumb strikes the open D string and now your middle finger strikes the B string open okay thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle now it's starting to take a bit of shape again keep it nice and slow work through it methodically don't try to rush do it nice and slow and build up and build up and pretty soon you'll gather momentum you'll gather speed you'll gather accuracy so once again from the top we're hitting the G string we're plucking the open G string with our min index finger we're striking the open D with our thumb and we're striking the open B with our middle finger I used to sit in front of the television and just hold the guitar, not even fret a chord, and just do this. Until I got it. I've got that tune into my head. I got the tune, and I just remember the tune. It took me about a week to ten days of just doing that to get it constantly. My fingers were really sore, and it really really took a lot of concentration but I assure you you will get there once again before we move on to the next part thumb strikes the top string index finger strikes the open G your thumb strikes the open D and your middle finger strikes the open B string that's what it should sound like and slow note again the thumb is alternating between the E and the D string pretty soon you get it down your muscle memory will kick in and so on and so forth the third part is now we're going to add our ring finger hitting the, the uh, fretted G on the uh, high string. And that pattern goes like this. Once again slowly. So our thumb hits the G on the top string, bottom string sorry 
G. Index frets index hits the uh, open G. Thumb hits the D. Middle finger hits the open B. Thumb hits the G again. Index finger, thumb on the D, ring finger on the top E. And there you have it. And then the pattern resets itself after that. So thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, ring. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, ring. Listen to the tune it's producing. And then you get to the stage where you can just keep going. Again, the thumb is just alternating. So to recap that lesson, start off with your thumb, index finger, thumb, index finger, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb on the G, index hitting the open G, thumb on the open D, index on the open G. So you're ready, your thumb should be alternating like this. Once you picked up a bit of momentum and you've got it under your belt, you should be able to get to this before moving to the next stage, which is adding your middle finger on the open B. There it is. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. The last part is adding your ring finger onto the top E, which is this. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, ring, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, and ring. Take it slow. Do the three stages that I've shown you here. Progress nice and slowly. Take it time. There's no point in rushing. You're building a foundation here. If you mess it up now and try to rush, then you'll lose interest and it won't work for you. So I suggest you just do it the way I've shown you. Build it up nice and slow. From these three broken down parts until you can finally do it all and then the next challenge is changing chords and that's a that's another video in itself but most of all you need that solid bass 